Hi everyone, just uh, wanted to do a little short video today. We're 14th of June today and we have sort of got a bit of a funny week this week. So we uh, TB testing on Monday, the first part of the test and Wednesday today. So tomorrow is the reading. So uh, not sure how that will go really. We were clear six months ago but before that we'd been under restriction with inconclusives some were taken away because they'd been inconclusive more than once so like second time inconclusive they had to go and last may we had eight taken in one go but not one of them had a mark on them so that was wow just a bit of a disaster really and most of what we're having trouble with are cattle that are sort of 18 months to two years old they're the ones that are showing reaction the cows don't have a mark on them and uh, yeah so we'll just have to see how it goes tomorrow really we've got our fingers crossed and uh, i think that's about all you can do really so um just yeah so i'll let you know uh, what happens with that um otherwise we have well, we're just sort of waiting to cut hay, really. It's been nice weather, and you're probably thinking, why haven't you done your hay? Cause it's been such nice weather. But we have been waiting and letting the crops bulk up and uh, conventional baler. We want to make sort of five, 600 small bales of hay, because we always do that. But uh, last year, we had some problems with the baler, and it was missed tying on one side. And we are waiting for a man known as the Baylor Doctor, and he is coming hopefully in the next couple of weeks to go through the Baylor and uh, sort it out. So here is the Baylor, and uh, it's all sort of packed away, and there's a little bit of straw in it, but we sort of oiled it up and um, it's uh, waiting. So it's uh looks a bit obviously dirty but it's underneath the underneath the oil and uh, dust it's uh, quite good really but uh yeah so fingers crossed he will um sort it out and uh, get us going there uh, it's had a few rebuilds over the years and we've had uh, issues with it but uh, as i say what it was doing what it was doing last year in the straw was it would tie a few bales and then miss tie a few and we ended up round baling everything just to get everything done what it would do is it would it was tying the knot but it wasn't leaving long sort of enough um I don't know what you call it, like sort of ends on the knot. And then uh, as it went through the chamber, they would just come slack and, and, and well, the knots would pull out really. So so that's what was happening. It was, like I say, creating the knot, but they would pull out. So uh, as I say, we have sort of not any expert on it myself. And we have sort of fixed issues with it in the past. And... Uh, we just, I just haven't got time really to look to it. So just think it's better to not be wasting time on it ourselves because we don't know enough about it and just get somebody in that knows what they're doing really. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Tractor, I gave that a bit of a wash earlier. It was, oh, it was just covered in dust. I need to blow the air filter out as well because that... Uh, Will probably be a bit dusty and the cab filters dogs come to have a look and uh, tr other tractors hitched to the sprayer we uh, sprayed a grass field with dock star yesterday because we got well one of our well two fields they amount to nine acres and they are pickled in docks so uh, they were just at the perfect stage really after first cut so that's what we did so uh, have a look at that at some point and see how well they've died off so yeah that uh, 
hopefully will be fairly successful. We sowed a little bit of fertilizer on grassland last week just to try and get things moving a bit, hoping for some rain, but we haven't had any rain now for, well, uh, at least a month. We haven't had any rain, I don't think, which is it's getting a bit serious now. And so maybe a bit optimistic sowing the fertilizer, but uh, we're just hoping, well, it's looking, it's looking like after this weekend, we are going to get some rain and it's going to be a bit catchy next week. So fingers crossed that'll happen and uh, we can, uh, well, grass will grow a bit. It's not too late yet. Things aren't burnt out here too badly. I was in the livestock market earlier today and uh, I was talking to a, chap on the south coast and uh, he was saying his farm is um well way drier than here and uh, all, it generally always is or sort of south facing and uh, yeah so um we aren't it's not a disaster yet here but it's uh, getting close yeah so the hay i was saying about we got about uh, 20 acres ready to cut some of that will make us round bale hay and as i say five six hundred small bales if the baler is sorted out and then we'll make some hay litter as well it's sort of a long term lay or it's a well an old permanent pasture really and uh, we always make our hay on this field the field's 25 acres we've got the sheep in part of it so yeah about 20 acres to cut and uh, yeah so everything's all waiting and ready to go if like i say we can get the small baler working it'll be ideal round balers there all parked up waiting cultivator I like to keep that one inside if I can wrappers here as well plow at the back that one's uh, all oiled up and uh, waiting to come out later on be August for some plowing for some reseeding drill as well here at the back and flat eight over there Yeah, so just this video really, just a bit of an update on what we're doing. Um, I haven't been doing much else really, so uh, we uh, haven't had much time to make anything else really. Um, got hoping to shear the rest of the sheep on, uh, well, early next week. So uh, it's about 180 odd left to do. Made a start and done some, but uh, we'll yeah finish that off next week if we can, which will be nice. And... Uh, yeah, we do the shearing ourselves, so I uh, might do a little video of that. I'm, I'm, uh, I've done shearing courses, but I'll, or shearing course and everything, and um, I'm sort of no like champion shearer, but uh, I can um, shear to a reasonable standard. So yeah, so I might do a video on that, and uh, yeah, so that's sort of what's going on really. Um, yeah, right, so. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and liking the videos and everyone that watches and I'll be back with another video soon so I'll see you then.